practice lesson is uh, multiplying decimals. So don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathLog.com. This is lesson 4-7 in our textbook. There's our common core strand that I know you're excited about, but that's for teachers. Uh, and then our question is here, what strategies can we use to place um, uh, a decimal in a product? So I'm going to show you a couple of them in here. So, so we can uh, uh, use what we have learned about patterns and place value to place the decimal point in the product when we multiply two numbers. So for example, 1 times anything equals itself. So 1 times point, uh, 0.1 equals just point 0.1 right there. But what if we multiply point 0.1 times point 0.1? It equals point zero 0.01. So what happens when we multiply it by another decimal, it takes this decimal and moves it one place to the left right there. Okay. If we did point zero 0.01, times point 0.1, then it's going to take this decimal and move it over. Since there's two spaces right there, we're going to move it over two spaces. So one, and then we'll have to do another one, two, and it creates a little blank spot. So it was right here, so one, two, and we have to add another zero right there. Okay, <clears throat> so just remember, you guys, when a number is multiplied by a decimal, the decimal moves one place to the left if the product for each decreasing place value be, uh, being multiplied. So what I like to do is just count the decimals, you guys. You know, if it's, um, if it's uh, uh, here is two decimals, here's one more decimal, it's three decimals over. So if we started right here because it was one, just multiply one times one and then move it three places over. One, two, three, and it gives you point zero one. This is point one times one, so one times one is one. So this is one decimal, this is one decimal, so that if it starts right here, move it two places. So we'll have a couple examples coming up here, you guys. So here we go. Neil runs a half marathon in 2.8 hours. Martha takes 1.5 times as long. How many hours does it take Martha to run a half marathon? So here we're going to multiply 1.5 times 2.8. So we'll just go ahead and multiply as whole numbers. So let's just pretend like there's no decimals right here. So 28 times 15, okay? And then we'll move the decimals over later. Okay, so here we go. Multiplying this 5 through, so 5 times 8 is 40. So there's my 4, and there's the 0 with the 40. And then 5 times 2 is 10, plus the carryover 4 is 14 right there. Now let's multiply the 1, but we have to carry the 0 down because this is the 10s. We're in the 10s value, so there's the 0 for the 10, okay? 1 times 8 is 8, so we'll put an 8 here, and then 1 times 2 is 2, so this is going to be 2, 8, so 28 with a 0 right there. All right, let's add those up. We get 420. Okay, now let's place the decimal point back in the picture. So think tenths are being multiplied by tenths, okay? This is one decimal over. This is 1 and 5 tenths. This is 2 and 8 tenths. So we're multiplying tenths by tenths, so we're going to use the pattern of 0.1 times 0.1. This is 1 tenth, and this is 1 tenth. Well, remember the patterns that we just discussed right here. 0.1 times 0.1 says we move that decimal over right there. So, so it, so it actually, when we multiply it times, 1 times 1 is 1. So the decimal is really here, and we move it over two places right there. Okay, so we just, since it's 0.1, we just take this decimal and moved it over one more place right here. So what we're going to do is take this answer where the decimal is right here, and we're going to move it two places over, okay, because we moved it. So we're going to change the, the 28 to 2.8 by multiplying it by 0.1, and 15 to 1.5 by multiplying it by 0.1. Well, 0.1 times 0.1 is 0.01, so we're going to multiply this 420 times 0.01, and that's just going to get us... Uh, move the decimal over two places. So if we go over one, two, it's going to get us 4.20. Okay, 4.20. So it will take Martha 4.2 hours to run the half marathon. Okay, so 4.2 is the same as 4.20. Okay, so just when you multiply decimals, I just I just like to multiply. So here, for example, what if we multiply 2.8 times 1.4? What would the place value of the product be? Okay, so, well, this is two decimals over. This is one more, so it's going to be three decimals over. So, from here, you guys, when we multiplied two decimals times a one decimal, it took us three over right there. I know this little arrow only shows two jumps, but it's because it started right there. But if we started right there, it would be three jumps. There's one jump, and there's two more. So here I know it's going to be one uh, move over with the decimal, and this one has two places, so it's going to be two more. So 2.8 has one decimal. 1.74 has two decimals more. So it would move over the 1 plus 2, which is three places to the left. 
and three places to the left. This is in the thousands spot. Remember, this is tenths, hundreds, thousands. So it would take us to the thousands spot. Okay, so two decimals there, one decimal there. It's going to move us over three decimals to the left, so that would be in the thousands spot. All right, here's a different way, you guys. We can use an estimate to place the decimal point in the product. So let's think about multiplying 7.9 times 4.13. All right, let's estimate this first, you guys. Let's round these guys to the nearest whole number. This rounds to 8, and this rounds to 4 right here. So we'll just put them in our head, 8 and 4. 8 times 4 is equal to 32. So this is going to give us an answer somewhere close to 32. So let's just now go ahead and multiply without the decimals. 413 times 79. Okay, so here goes the 9 right there. And then we're going to multiply the 7 through, so we've got to carry the 0 because it's in the 10 spot. So there's the 7 getting multiplied through. Now we're going to add up the partial products right there, and we get uh, 32627. Okay, so the next step is to then use our estimate. Remember, our estimate is 32 to place the decimal point. Well, where's the decimal point going to go here to make it close to 32? Not there, not there, right there. So that would be 32.627. That would make it close enough to it right there. So 7.9 times 4.13 would come to 32.627. Okay, a couple of methods you saw there. So both are great, you guys. Hey, if you can, would you guys click like on this video? Thanks a lot. I hope you're having a great year. Take care, you guys.